Hey there, so this message is about ways that I've learned to identify a snake in the grass. So here's the first way. The first way is they will interrupt you often. In conversation, in person, or over the phone, they will engage in conversation with you. And every time you go to speak, they will interrupt you because they are wanting to make you feel inferior because they automatically feel inferior when it comes to conversation with you. So they want to cut you off so you don't get the opportunity to speak. So you will feel like what you have to say is not valuable. Every time you go to speak, they will continue to over talk you and sometimes even yelling, even yelling as they speak over you, even uh, getting aggressive as they speak over you. So I've learned that when a person is doing this to just be quiet honestly today if a person is doing that i'm not talking to you there's no reason for us to be having this conversation i'm, I'm gonna get up i've done that get up mid conversation gather my things and walk away quietly like you're having a one-sided conversation why am i even here but what i've learned is to be quiet and let them speak let them have this conversation all on their own and they'll be like, this is from my experience. They'll say, go ahead. No, go ahead. What were you going to say? What were you going to say? And then I start talking and they do it again. And then, so I'll be quiet. Let them keep going. Then, what were you going to say? No, what were you going to say? And they continue to do that because they want to find ways to feel superior because it's something about you that intimidate, intimidates them. So the second way is everything you say, they will doubt you. Everything you say, like one plus one is two you sure sis you sure <laughs> you sure <laughs> they're gonna second guess everything you're saying because they want you to second guess yourself they don't want they do not want you to feel smart because they know you are smart so they do not want you to feel smart they're going to second guess everything you're saying so that you can second guess yourself and this is a way for them to silence you so another thing this is a third way say you're in a group of so-called friends and this is another way to identify who's the snakes they every time you say something good about yourself they will look at each other they will just like shoot each other a look like uh oh she's on to something <laughs> uh oh he's on to something uh oh he's recognizing his greatness she's recognizing her greatness uh oh we we, we got to stop her we, we we better shut it down because we don't want this individual to to um see how truly great they are we don't want them to see what we see so you you be be watchful of that anytime you say anything good about yourself like if it's something good about your job something good about anything that makes you look great they're going to shoot this look between each other like what you're saying about yourself is rubbing them the wrong way so another thing is they will find ways to make you feel inadequate they will find ways to make you feel um if you're if you're bent on being righteous they will make you make they will make up ways to make you feel like you're not righteous for example uh i remember an individual a relative saying to me this is an older relative so i don't really know this person much i don't have any memory of them really but i remember them saying to me like you was always a bad kid not true no one's ever told me that but they they will come up with ways to make you start questioning yourself make you start to question your childhood make you start to question like was i a bad person did everything i i all the bad i went through did i deserve that because of my own actions they will find ways to make you question your knowledge so and um this this is a lot another example along with that um i remember an individual telling me something to this effect of like randomly in the middle of a conversation the individual came up to me and said i remember seeing you lacking confidence and i remember seeing you with confidence and that was all they said and i'm like yeah like waiting for them to elaborate but that is their way of making you feel inadequate like 
I remember you. I remember when you wasn't feeling yourself. I remember you when you wasn't confident. I remember you when you were struggling mentally, emotionally, in any, in any other way. They want you to feel like you are not important. These are tactics that people are doing to make sure you do not reach your greatness because they see it and they feel like they're losing grip. They feel like they're losing control. So they're pulling out these crazy tactics. There's another, another uh, way. Um, so if you're speaking to an individual who is in a situation where they might be vulnerable, where they might have had some kind of incident or some kind of mishap, and you're trying to encourage them, you're giving them inspirational words, they are going to not acknowledge what you're saying. They're not going to want to hear what you're saying because they're expecting you to kick them while they're down because that's what they would do to you. So they're not going to want to hear what you're saying, the good that you're saying. It's honestly making them mad. It's bothering them that you're being encouraging, that you're being positive. And even like in a text message, if this person is going through it, they went, they had a bad incident or something, they'll text you what they're going through and you can text them and say encouraging things or um, uplifting things and they will completely blatantly ignore the positive things you're saying, the uplifting things you're saying, they will ignore it and speak on the other things that you're saying or speak on something totally different. These people do not want to receive kindness from you because they know that if given the opportunity where you're down, they're going to kick the crap out of you. So that's another way. And the very last way, which there's many, many more ways, but the very last way I'm going to mention is something I also mentioned in another video is that they will bring your painful experiences to you as a joke. They will find ways to um, bring up things that caused you pain in a joking manner. Like even if it's, you know, childhood scars anything they will bring it up jokingly to you letting you know if that painful incident did not break you guaranteed me bringing it up as a joke is going to break you so i hope this makes sense i really hope it makes sense if i had written it down i would just name them real quick the ways but watch the video i hope it makes sense i pray this helps heals and strengthens in all things we do let's give god the glory i will see you in the next video